My mother let it slip once. When you were born, they didn't know if you were a girl or a boy. And she giggled. <laughs> My parents were told they should just take me home, dress me in yellow and green, give me a nickname, and wait to see. You know, it's not just male, it's not just female. I'm intersex. Doctors became increasingly aggressive to try to make sure that everybody looked clearly male or looked clearly female. There was this real authoritativeness about this is what we do for these children. I had more than a dozen surgeries before I was 10. They decided to remove my clitoris because it was too big for a normal girl. All my parents' friends that I remembered from childhood all knew that my parents had a boy who disappeared and then they had a girl and there wasn't any explanation. There's two entries, one that says nice wee lad and another one that says sex determined as female. I was told to pass as a boy. I was taught to strive to be as boy-like as possible. It's absurd. I can't measure up to being male. People treated me like a freak. They cut me up. They harmed me in ways that prevent me from being romantically or sexually intimate with people. I mean, I do cross the female box when I have to choose one, but my body isn't female. There's more to being a man or a woman than just a genital. People have genitals. People are not genitals. I know that's hard to believe because we've all met a lot of pricks in our lives.